Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Side. How the devil are you, mate? <laughs> uh, sorry, if my voice is a little bit off today, it's because... I don't know. I think after the surf the other day, I've just got this, like, it's a bit of a, bit of a chesty cough. Thank you so much for coming back to seeing another bloody video, mate. Today, we're going to be looking at a little channel called MindCTV. Make sure you go to the channel, subscribe, and do the thing. I'm so happy that they're back, mate. So bloody happy. This one is called Horrifying Snow Ghost. Insane footage. Real scary paranormal activity, mate. I mean, it's been a long time. Okay, it's been too long. Too long. <laughs> without these guys. Anyway, so without further ado, die diddly day. Let's do this. Shh. Already weird vibes out here, bro. Go on, Mighty TV. <laughs> It sounded like it was coming from a little kid. I don't like that noise. Wait, wait, wait. Why did it just start going nuts on three spins? We should get the flashlight. That's weird. I don't feel comfortable. I don't right feel comfortable. Either. No. There's just a figure just staring at us. Cut the light. What the? Bro. That's true. Are you here right now? Something bad always happens when it says surprise. <laughs> oh, just... come on! Follow him. That absolutely does not look like that. It looks like fingers. This is what every single paranormal team out there dreams of capturing. Mate, okay, I, like, there's no other channel, okay? I'm sorry to the other channels that I react to, but there's no other channel, like Ghost Hunters, that I get this hyped for. Mate, I'm sorry, but I fucking love this channel, man. I love it. It's on another level. They're, it just, I don't know, they've just got such a great way of hyping shit up, mate. Let's go! Warning. The following content may be considered disturbing to some. Viewer discretion is advised. That's what we like, mate. Hi, my name is Sarah Evans. I live in Florida now, and I've lived here for almost 22 years wow. and my husband and I decided that we wanted to get a house somewhere that was completely different. Colorado baby! Come on! So we found a house. It's just the surroundings are so beautiful and it is quite cold. Fucking just imagine waking up with that right? Huh? Just imagine waking up and looking at that. Look at you! I can't, I got my, my voice. <laughs> I'll be right tomorrow. But it's just a nice change for us to, to go back and forth. After I moved in, um, got to know a few of the locals, and several of them had told me that there was a little boy that used to live in this house, and he, he fell into the ice, and he drowned. Oh, mate. Oh... I woke up one night and I heard children's voices. And I'm like, what? I said, am I dreaming or is, or am I awake? Was this really late at night? It was, it was somewhere in the middle of the night. Like at a time that there shouldn't be any children <laughs> yeah. outside. Yeah, and it was really cold and it was snowing that night too. And I heard voices of little kids playing. That would be freaky as F, mate, eh? Imagine that, man. And I'm like, this can't be. No way! I got up in the morning and I saw kids' toys. And they were right outside of the door. There's no explanation for it because my grandkids have not been to that house yet. And there's no kids around there that I know of. What? So most of the activity that you've encountered has just been when it's extremely cold outside. Yes. So he's just said, so basically most of your uh, activity that you've felt is when it's been extremely cold outside. That's interesting. Yes. That's interesting. Yeah, when it's snowing and cold, yes. Huh. Oh, 
Oh, mate. Let's go. Let, let's go. Uh, let's go. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 let's go. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Hunting Purgatory Season First 5. First going up to the place, we came down this long, snowy, desolate road. Look at the state of this, mate. Huh? I feel like we're going to Sleepy Hollow. I don't know. The only thing that's giving me any type of hope is that they're talking to Shredder. Yeah. I mean, it looks like probably two days ago. This looks amazing, mate. Everything here just looks so cold. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking... Winter Wonderland, bro. Look at this shit. Uh, wow. No snowmen. What's that all about? Mate, if I was in England, there'd be snowmen about every other bloody foot down the road, mate, because we're like, holy shit. We've got snow. Well, I say in England, in Cornwall, right? Because it barely ever snows here. Oh, yeah. That's, that's it, huh? Oh yeah. We got out like we usually do, and we started with our walkthrough. Uh, here, can you hold this for a sec? I got the key, I think. Do I have the key or do I get it to you? I need to go in. Okay, I got the keys. Yeah. Oh man, that must be so cold. On your toes as well, mate. Oh, that's good. What? Might be like an automatic heater or something, like a time of year. That's great. Oh, oh yeah. I've seen that. I've noticed now that they've changed the quality of their cameras back to the original as well because they they were like super high def initial, and then they went like rustic, which was okay. But now they've gone like super high def again, which I quite like. Just freshen it up, mate. Change it up. I'm so glad these guys are back. I'm so glad, mate. I've, I've been missing them. Cool looking place. <clears throat> Can I also say, if you want these guys to come on my podcast, flood the comments with, yes, come on the podcast, come on the podcast, right? And then I'll send this link to them and they can see everybody saying, come on the podcast, mate. I've got to get them on the podcast because it's going to happen. Hey. This looks like, uh, what the fuck? This looks like dog, like dog nose. You know how it drips down? You know what I'm talking about? Like when a dog like sticks their nose constantly? That absolutely does not look like that. It looks like fingers. Yeah. They're on the inside. That's not on the outside. It's on the inside, I believe. What? Weird. That is weird. Let's see what we got upstairs. Hey, you don't hang on one second. What's that? Oh, okay. Once we got to the cabin, we did the initial walkthrough. We used the regular testing, EMF detector. We did the ovulus walkthrough. Hello, hello. Well, that's ovulus. <laughs> oh, God. Buddy present that would like to come communicate with me and Colt. We hear from the lady that lives here you like to visit often. And if that's true, are you here right now? <laughs> the 
What's this? Okay, it's just like AC duct and shit. Not a lot was happening on the inside of the cabin, but we did know that the creek right out back is where this little boy had supposedly drowned. Oh, the dead of night. Now, this is going to be weird, mate, seeing this shit. This oh, is going to be shit. so damn this weird. Deep, that is deep, mate. That's what yeah. she said. <laughs> This was definitely the coldest <laughs> investigation that Colton and I have ever done. It was below 10 degrees outside. It felt like we were in a whole nother world. That's oh, something mate. that neither one of us are really used to at all. Look at that, mate. Ooh. Hey. Real quick. No bullshit. Whoa. Do these, do these look like adult footprints or? No. Those look like kids, right? Oh when yeah. We approached the bridge. We looked down, and there was these single file, like, small footprints. Definitely smaller than ours. Here, wait. Check this out. Hold on. I just want to do this for the for the viewer's sake. Here, look. This is this is the size of one of my footprints. That's an adult footprint. Yeah, man. That's Those are tiny, huh? They are yeah. tiny, mate. Small child shoes. To just something that just like sprinted across the bridge. Just to see the impression of the foot. Look at them, like they ran yeah. across it. Yeah. But that is quite a wide stance though, isn't it? Is it, is it the, the one-legged kid? Like two feet. Me and you, we probably have about a three-foot step when we're not running. Is this bridge uh, sturdy? Whoa. Oh, fucking, imagine trying I that. Go right oh, mate, I wouldn't be going across that, mate. Normally you can actually, s you can't even see the quality of the bridge. It's just filled with sand. It could be nothing. It could be literally like a, a couple of twigs there. I mean, it looks, to be fair, it looks better than that, but you know what I mean? It could be rotten. You know totally what? rotten. Let's come out here with the ovulus. Yes. You know? okay. At the, uh, at the place. We usually like to go to the locations of death. For some reason, it seems like the location of death typically gets some kind of energy. Just listen to how quiet it is. I'm just thinking to myself, can you imagine falling through this? Oh, mate. And then right now by yourself. I'm just saying like going right through the ice and not being able to find your way up. That's horrible. Mate, I would, I would just ramble away. I would whim off it, mate. Okay. Absolutely Wim Hof it. Let's go. Yeah. Look at this shit, man. It's pretty deep, too. It didn't look like it was this deep when we were walking up. Yeah. Already weird vibes out here, bro. Yeah, mate. His Check footsteps are massive compared to... Let me get tight on that. Something tried to run across. You can see a little, like the little hand. Oh shit, mate! Look, what? It's like a little. That looks like a hand, but I know it's like probably animal paws because there's four of them here. Look. Yeah. Is that like a little body rabbit? rabbit? Body rabbit. Um, hey, there's no more footprints. Huh? Oh no shit! They stopped. They didn't even get all the way. They you got, just like, walked right through here. him. On the other side of the, the creek, but look, look, look at the um, bridge. Yeah. They stop, and the, there's none around here. That's wild. That's a trip. That is a fucking trip. Mate, you're just on him. You're sitting yeah, on top of him. Follow him, but there's yeah, nowhere to go. Well, let's get to the other side and see what's going on. Careful with this shit. This is wild, man. I think this is still a creek right here. Oh, I know it's it is. Piled up because you got this other side. Like right, that, so that, crack of the, that crack of the snow is. I love that sound. I say this every time we're outside somewhere. Yeah. You need to be careful with bears out here for real. Oh, no, big time. <clears throat> and you know what? Huh? This is that time of the year where it was a little bit warm for a second and then it got ice cold again.
So the only thing that's waking up are the are the badasses. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. The dudes that are starving, and right now they will. F- oh, they will fuck. They you will up, fuck yeah. us up. Ah, f- fuck it, whatever, mate. It's just block in counter attack. Just Rambo it. Big time. What is that? There's some big prints over there. See that? Yeah. Over there. I sure do. Are those human or not? I don't like that noise. The creaking noise? It sounds like we're on top of the water still. It does. Oh, mate, imagine. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It, no, no, you're not. Yeah, hey, um. The stab by the trees then. Those aren't, those aren't shoe prints. Those are massively large paw prints. Where? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, thank you. That's a trip, dude. I think maybe we should put something out here, like an obelisk or... Definitely. Yeah, no, I think we should run the obelisk on the bridge. Okay. See if we get any, anything to come through, maybe. Get some clear messages out here. Shocking words. Hey. Eh? Okay, let's, let's t- it's time to, time to turn up a little bit. We were doing the investigation, we were out on the bridge with the obelisk, trying to get responses out of it. Is there a reason that you won't leave this place? Is there something you'd like to tell anybody? Sometimes it'll say things that are just random, off the wall, and then there's other times that it'll take the energy around it and use those frequencies to channel words through it. Yank in? It got yanked in the war? It said yank in. Oh my god. Yank in. It got yanked in the war. It said yanked in. Were you yanked in? That's, dude, all the hairs are standing up on my body right now. Major goosebumps, bro. Chicken, chicken, mate. Every hair on my body stood up because we know a kid drowned here and it, it was one of two things. It was either saying that the kid felt like he was yanked in by something or that maybe something wanted to yank one of us in. Ugh. Yanked in. Are you telling me that someone yanked you in the ice? So hang on, somebody must have been in the water to yank you in, right? Otherwise it would have been pushed in. What were you yanked in by? What yanked you in? Or do you want to yank me in? Oh, mate. I'm dying to say that's what she says, but I can't because I, I, my, my, my throat. Okay. No other words apart from yanked so in. So we went what back fuck? inside the house and we did a spirit box session in the upstairs bedroom. We wanted to make sure that we tested out all locations in this property. We got a few voices come through on the spirit box. Some of them were kind of hard to make out. There was one or two that sounded like it was coming from a little kid. I heard somebody yelling. Can you tell me what you're saying? Can you speak clearly? Oh, I heard like a little kid. I just heard a little kid. It sounded like said mommy. It sounded like mommy? Mommy! Oh, I heard like a little kid. I just heard a little kid. It sounded like said mommy. Three words? What? Sorry. What? I, Mom, I'm scared. I I heard Mom, but I didn't hear. I'm scared. I didn't hear. I'm scared. Ooh. 
like a little kid. I just heard a little kid. Sound like said mommy. You didn't hear that? Like grief. You know your child is speaking through the box. Can you come forward? Speak louder. We could definitely hear what sounded like some child voices, but the other ones were just, they were too hard to make out. A flicker of hope. Mate, that's fucking, that, okay, this is getting a little bit on edge now, man. I'm getting a little bit on edge. By the way, I'm sorry that I'm drinking, uh, I've drink to, uh, drank a cup of coffee. I don't like usually drinking and stuff when I'm recording, but today I just feel like it because of my chest, all right? I'm sorry. We decided to use the Ouija board at this location, and the crazy thing is, we had the obelisk on, sitting oh, right next go. to it for- Getting the fucking Ouija board out. Let's go, let's go. It's gonna ba- it's about to go to another level, ladies and gentlemen, okay? It's getting the bloody Ouija board. Don't do Ouija boards! 20 to 30 minutes, while we're setting it up. And the second that me and him shake hands, and we tap ourselves into the board, the obelisk starts going crazy. One. Two. Three. Wife. Age. Wife. Age. Solstice. Solstice. Wait, wait, wait. Why did it just start going nuts on three spins? The Ovilus started picking up some kind of energy once we got into the session with the planchette wow. on the board. And it just started spitting out words. Why did it just start going nuts on three spins? Did you notice that? Yeah. It didn't do anything until we spun it three times. See, there's lots of controversy about those little boxes, right? Because some people think that it's just like a random event, but that is strange how there's nothing. As soon as they start doing the Ouija board, mate, stuff starts happening. That is strange. <coughs> Can you use your energy to spell something out? Look at the candle over there. Look. Look at yours. You're too... Oh, not. shit! When we started doing the Ouija board session, candles were kind of flickering from different areas and there was no fans on there was no ac going no windows yeah open. it's just another thing to make note of that really can't be explained okay now mine are kind of oh this is weird that is still whoa it's getting weird i know what you, you don't, just said i know you don't like this bro but just don't let go yeah why did you say violent are you violent are you angry you could actually move the plant like what the fuck was that? Surprise! I don't either. I never liked that one. Mm -mm. Something bad always happens when it says surprise. I don't like that, dude. Yeah, I don't either. Use whatever you want to communicate, but if you don't mind, you can drag these to spell words. Can you please move the planchette to yes or no and let us know if you're upset that we're here? After a while of not getting a whole lot of evidence, we decided we were gonna set up static cameras and then go to sleep because the person that told us about the story, she says that when she goes to bed or she's laying in bed is the time when she hears strange things most often. So like, would you um would you do that straight away though? Would you get to a location, you know, try a little bit of things and then just go straight to sleep? I wouldn't. The the sleep thing would be the last thing I would do. I'd be like, right, okay, that's it. Let's go to sleep. Because what happens if you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning and then the whole night's ruined because you could have done other things. But to be fair, they've done the obvious. They've done the the Ouija board. They've investigated. Grim lullaby. We were both pretty tired, so we just decided to turn in for the night. But within 15 minutes of laying down, we both heard something very, very weird. Yeah. Mate, that's got to be a wolf. Is 
sounds like a song. That's fucking weird. What? Mate, imagine if there's like a tap on the window now. Boom, 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 boom. That's weird, dude. I'm gonna, we should get the flashlight. That's weird. First, it sounded like a little kid's voice, but then it kind of sounded a little bit melodic, like, like someone was outside singing. Yeah, oh, I can't really do it again because my chest. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Casey sat up at the exact same time and we looked at each other almost to like confirm that we both just heard what we thought we heard. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely singing, mate. That's not a wolf, that's singing. That is singing. Yeah. Yeah. We hear something that sounds like singing and you could tell it was coming from outside. It sounds like a song. That's fucking weird, bro. Colton heard it just as clear as I did, so we decided to go downstairs, put our shoes on, and see if we can go outside and capture this audio. That's weird, dude. I'm gonna, we should get the flashlight. That's weird. Yeah, let's go, man. Let's go. Bring everything, bring everything. That's fucking creepy, bro. When I sat down on the couch to put my shoes on, right next to me was that window that we saw when we first came in the cabin, but there was something different on it. There was something that I know for a fact was not there when we arrived at the cabin. Hey, what is this? What? No, bro. Casey goes, look, look, look. And he said, look at all these markings. And earlier we had seen something that looked like dragging or like maybe a dog's nose or something moving up and down on it. So I kind of like brushed it off real quick. And then he said, no, there's handprints. And we looked and they were on the outside of the glass. Dude, look at this. Come here real quick. What? That's outside the fucking window. Look. I, I saw them outside. The I thought it was finger marks outside the window last time. <gasps> oh, oh, no, man. I see. That's okay. Hand, handprints. These handprints were half the size of mine, half the size of Colton. So... Oh, bro. Dude, they're all over the place. It's just eerie to think about because when did that happen? You know? Didn't happen before we were there. So somewhere between nightfall and four in the morning, those handprints appeared. Is it? Yeah. This whole bottom. Oh, dude, that's fucking crazy. I can't... Oh, yeah, I can, so, I can so see it. There's little black hands there, mate. There's little black hands, look. Crazy. Look, look, look. That, look. You see this here and here? What the fuck? These handprints were super small. Like, if I had to guess, they're from like a five or six year old. Cut the light on for a second so we get dressed. Yeah, we gotta put on like 10 layers to go outside right now. Hurry up, mate, you could go! Come on! I hope the static camera heard that. Dude. I mean, I hope it did too. I mean, I know those mics are not the best, but that was I, pretty cool. I want to know what's going on with this. Yeah. Like, is someone fucking with us? Yeah, I don't know. What the hell is that? Oh, it's fucking shit on here. It's fucking cold, bro. Have they got any heating on in there, mate? What? I swear I saw something move outside, and when I asked Colton to turn off the lights, 
I was not prepared for what we both saw. What? Oh, here we fucking go, mate. Here we fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go freaky deaky, mate. The following footage may cause extreme discomfort and stick with you along after viewing this video. Fucking right. Let's go. That's what I want. Whatever, mate. Fucking ramble it. Hey, cut the light. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw something run past, like, outside. Something moved. You, what is that? What you is what? That right there. No. Dude, what is that? What? Oh, bro, <laughs> it's moving. It's moving. What the fuck is moving? What the fuck is that? Oh, 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 what oh, is moving? moving? What the fuck, bro? I can't see shit, mate. I can't. I thought oh, that was a shadow. God, bro. It, like, disappeared. Dude, I'm feeling all types of weird right now, dude. You gotta understand, there's no lights out there. The only thing that we can see is the moonlight that's reflecting off of the snow outside. And right in the middle of the bridge, we both see what looks like a almost transparent black figure of some sort, just standing in the middle of the bridge. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw something run past, like, outside. Something moved. You, what is that? Do you see that right there? Dude. There's just a. I, I I I saw shit all, mate. I'm sorry, but I saw shit all. Are, are we looking here, right? We're looking here. That's like outside. Something moved. That's the bridge you, right here. What is that? Do you see that right there? Dude, what is that? There's just a figure, just staring at us. It looked like it was facing us. Right. I, right. Oh, what the fuck am I supposed to be seeing here, mate? A figure? Staring at us? I'm looking on OBS right here now. I can't see shit. What am I supposed to be fucking looking at here, man? From on top of the bridge. Not moving. Standing still. Do you see that right there? Is it this blurry bit here? We don't know what's showing up on the camera, his cell phone camera at all. We're just fixated on it. And then it turns around and it bolts. Dude, what is that? I don't oh, know. bro, it's, it's just... moving. It's moving. What the fuck is that? Oh, my oh God. dude. What the, what the fuck am I not? What the fuck am I not seeing? What am I not seeing, mate? Please, Ben, fucking see what you're... See what they're seeing, please. What? They're, they're, they're clearly seeing this as clear as day, and I'm not seeing shit. Am I looking too hard? Am I looking in the wrong place? Camera, his cell phone camera at all, we're just fixated on it. And then it turns around and it bolts. Right, uh, okay, let me, uh, my eyes dragged there, okay? But maybe it's over here, over here, like. Dude. <laughs> uh, oh, bro, it's just moving, it's moving. What the fuck is that? Oh, my oh God. dude. When it ran, it looked. I'm going to look on OBS because it's a smaller screen. It might be more compact. What is that? Oh, know. bro, it's, it's moving. It's moving. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I think I see. It. I think I see it. So, right here, but. I can't see it because this is all black through this monitor. Maybe the coloring of the monitor or something. All I can see is this here. Boom, boom. Okay, this is it. What is that? There and there. Oh, bro, it's, it's just moving. It's yeah, moving. that's it. Just moved. What the fuck is that? Oh, my oh God. dude. When it ran, it looked more unnatural than I've seen anything move. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw something run past, like, outside. Oh, thank you. Thank the Lord. Okay. Okay, now we can see you. Something moved. Do you, what is that? Do you see that right there? Dude, what is that? Oh, oh bro, it's, it's moving. It's moving. What the fuck is that? Oh, oh, sh oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's all like ran, slowed down, and then fucking ran again, mate. It almost felt like it was made out of smoke. That's what it looked like to me. And 
when it turned and ran away, That's weird. it just like vanished. It like disappeared. Dude, I'm feeling all types of weird right now, dude. Look at that, bro. Right there. Look at the way it just, it dips. just fucking dips. It dips like full speed. Whoa. We we're both standing there in the living room looking back at the footage that we just captured. We're watching it literally seconds after we captured it. The crazy part is when it goes sideways. I'm fucking nervous as hell and I'm freaked out, bro. Get out there, mate! Rambo it! We should go out with something. That's we gotta give it Look a Look at baseball bat. A lot. We were super apprehensive to go outside. We obviously, we just saw something that we can't explain. We don't know what it was. It didn't look like an animal. I mean, it didn't have distinguishing characteristics of a human, but we had to go back out there and see if we could communicate or see if we could get a glimpse of it closer. Come on! Yes, mate. Frozen silence. Let's go. No, don't give it a minute. Get out there now, mate. Something out there. I... Yeah, let's give it a minute. That could have been a person. Well, it moved too fast. It disappeared. It didn't look tall enough to be a <clears throat> No. That's it. Let's go. Have a look and look, look, look for the footsteps. Hello? Christ, mate, how many footsteps has been happening over here, look? How many times have you walked up and down it? Hang on, hang on, stay still. Hello? Oh, mate. It was so quiet out there. It almost sounded like I was in a studio recording room with soundproof padding around me it was that quiet yeah oh man this is sketchy as hell man if if you see a shadow bastard now mate motherfucker i'm gone i'm gone That's you. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm like high alert right now. Alright. Let's uh let's put the yes no here and we could just ask some questions. Oh. This side of the bridge. I feel like we're safer on this side for some yeah. reason. You know? Now so get over there, mate. We took the yes no prism out to the bridge where not an hour before we saw something that had sprinted across the opposite side. And neither one of us were comfortable enough to actually like walk across it because we felt like whatever it was, was either not allowed to or not able to cross to our side. So we decided to just play it safe and leave it right there in the snow. Okay. Were you just out here running around? Was that you? Are you trying to get our attention? I'm so paranoid right here. Yeah, you would be, wouldn't you? It was like snow falling off a tree. Or... You heard like a little rustle, right? Yeah, something. Ooh. What? Can you come close to this device? Yes. Oh, shh. 
shit, mate. Pretty fucking clear to me, huh? Yeah. And no one's moving around, mate, because you can hear them. You would be able to hear them. No one's moving to the left and right. Why did you bring us to this bridge? Has something happened to you over here? Is there something you want us to see out here? Were you just... I don't know, I don't What's up? I I just saw something standing back there and it moved. Oh, my God. Were you singing a little while ago? Mate, I'm not expecting anything right now. Fucking ring bitch underneath the ice. I'm not going over this bridge tonight. I, I can tell you that right now. Oh, come on! Oh. Yes. Yes? No, we're not. Yes, do it! Rambo it is saying. It's saying Rambo it. Come on! I don't know, man. I'm s I don't feel comfortable. I don't right feel now comfortable either. No. Yes, come over the bridge. Kiss my ass. Yeah. Fuck you, man. Come on! How about you come over this side of the bridge? I don't know if that's a good thing. Why don't you come stand right here at the Hang end on. of the bridge? I, I don't know if that's a good thing. What? Inviting whatever that was to this side. Oh shit, yeah, 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 yeah. We got a handful of direct responses to these questions, but after like the last yes that we got, We've probably spent another 20, 30 minutes getting nothing out there in the 10 degree weather. That's kind of creepy, bro. Are you able to cross this bridge? Was that you singing while we were trying to go to bed? What, yes, you can go across the bridge? Or yes, you could, that was you singing? Like, which one is it? Did you touch the glass windows outside of the cabin? Do you like looking inside that cabin at night? Yeah, because it's fucking cold out there, mate. Wants to get in. When we were finishing up the Yes No Prism, the sun started to rise, so obviously that's the end of our investigation, but. Even though it got quiet there towards the end and it was quiet in the beginning a little bit, we weren't getting a whole lot. That one moment we captured on the bridge was worth everything we've been doing for the past few years. That is this fucking is what weird. Every single paranormal team out there dreams of capturing. We've gotten a lot of good things in the past, but this is like a full body apparition. This was worth every single second of that investigation. What is that? It could be fucking Bigfoot, mate. That one moment. And that's all it is sometimes. It's one moment. After hours and hours and hours of nothing, a split two seconds made the whole trip worth it. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw something run past, like, outside. Something moved. You, what is that? You see Fucking that? hell. Dude. What is that? Oh, know. bro, it's, it's moving. It's moving. What the fuck is that? Oh, my oh, God. dude. Why did it run so weird, bro. man? Get the merch at Caspersite.com. Just Rambo it. There you go, mate. That was Mind CTV. Absolutely bloody brilliant, mate. I'm so happy that they're back. I'm so happy because they're absolutely amazing. I do recommend going over to their video as well, by the way, um, and watching the last part because it's the editor's notes. It's just a little bit of like a, an evaluation, um, a review of, of, of the episode and a little bit of personal things on uh, for them. Uh, it's, it's actually really quite nice to listen to. So um, go over there and check that out. But thank you so much for putting up with my voice today. I'm so sorry. I'm going to get loads of water down me today. And hopefully my chest is ready for my um, podcast tomorrow. And I'm um, talking about podcasts, mate. Remember, I'm going to be asking these guys to come onto the podcast, mate. It'd be absolutely amazing. If you do want them to come on the podcast, please leave a little comment below. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one, mate. Take care. Bye-bye.